Today, a technical comparison of three PID equipped espresso machines with heat exchange boilers. We put them through their paces and have detailed test results including scase brew temperatures, group heat up times, and steaming performance. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Machines with heat exchange boilers allow you to brew and steam at the same time and PID control gives you very accurate brew temps. Now, PID is pretty much standard on most dual boiler machines, but until recently there were not many heat exchange boiler machines with PID. The machines we'll look at today, the Bezerra BZ07, it's a PID machine that has been around for a few years. It's the slimmest of the three, so it's a good choice if you're short on space. It features volumetric dosing for programmable brewing and an electrically heated group head for quick heat up and added temperature stability. The Profitech Pro 500 has been around for a while as well, but the PID version is relatively new. It rolled out in the fall of 2017. The non-PID 500 has been a top seller. Excellent design, quality components, and construction put this E61 group vibration pump machine in the sweet spot of performance and value. The Rocket Espresso Evolutioni R uses an E61 group as well, but upgrades to a rotary pump and is the only plumbable machine of the group. We'll be looking at the Giotto version of the Evo R with its distinctive angular side panels. Here's a chart with the basics. A big difference in width with the BZ07. It's two inches narrower than the Pro 500 and nearly three and a half inches skinnier than the Rocket. The BZ07 has an electrically heated group while the others use an E61 group heated via a thermosiphon from the boiler. The Bezerra and Profitech have vibration pumps while the Rocket uses a commercial rotary pump and again it's the only machine which can connect directly to household plumbing. For boilers it's 1.5 liter copper in the Bezerra, 2 liter stainless steel in the Profitech and 1.8 liters copper in the Rocket. And all the machines again have that PID temperature control. So let's get right to some test results. I first took a look at heat up times. That is how long from power on until the machine was fully warmed up and ready to brew. All three machines reached their set temperature as indicated by the PID at seven to eight and a half minutes after power on, but hold on, they are still not ready to brew. To determine when they were ready to brew, I wanted to know when the group was fully heated to a stable temperature. So I attached a digital thermometer to the top of the group on each machine and recorded the temperature once a minute for 45 minutes. Here's a graph of those results. I was looking for three consecutive minutes with less than three degrees variation and temperatures that were no longer climbing. The Bezerra BZ07 was the clear winner. The group was stable after just 18 minutes. For the Pro 500 it took 38 minutes and the Rocket got there after 41 minutes. A couple of things to note. For the BZ07 you can see the wobble in the graph as the thermostat for the electrically heated group cycles on and off once it reaches full temperature. The wobble ranged from 168 to 173 degrees. Also, keep in mind there are ways to shorten heat up time on all the machines. You can run blank shots to help heat the group up faster or you could use a timer to have the machine turn on and heat up before you're ready to use it. Next up are SCASE device brew temperature readings. For these, I let the machines fully heat up again with a PID set to deliver brew water at 200 degrees. I then recorded the temperature registered by the SCASE two ounces into a simulated extraction and repeated the test five times on each machine at two minute intervals. As you can see, the machines were very consistent always within about a degree and a half of the 200 degree desired temperature. In heat exchange machines, the boiler is going to run far hotter than the brew temperature you get at the group. The Bezerra uses an offset to correct that, so you set the PID to your desired brew temperature. It's a little different on the Profitech and Rocket machines. For those, you use a chart in the manual and get an actual boiler temperature that produces a desired brew temperature. Using the charts and adjusting a bit through trial and error were this case, I used PID settings of 254 for the Profitech and 246 on the Rocket.
The next test was for steaming power. For this, I timed how long it took to heat six ounces of water from the 64 degrees out of my tap to 140 degrees on a frothing thermometer in a steaming pitcher. I repeated this test five times on each machine and averaged the results. It was 23 seconds for the Bezerra, 26 seconds on the Profitech, and 24 seconds on the Rocket. So those are all pretty close, you know, no huge difference. One thing I did notice, in extended steaming, power falls off a little on the Bezerra and the Rocket while it remains consistent on the Profitech, but you would have to steam really large amounts of milk to notice that steam power falling off. So, in this group of machines, brew temperature stability and steaming power are very similar. The big differences come down to size, heat up times, group type, pump type, and whether the machine is plumbable. Some other differences. The Bezerra here has programmable volumetric dosing, uses lever valves, and steam and hot water dispense on the same side of the group. A dual gauge reads both boiler and brew pressure. And unlike the other two machines, which hide the PID display behind the drip tray, it's visible on the BZ07. The Profitech has large, easy to operate, low wear sprung valves and in my opinion, it's the best engineered of the bunch. Long term, it's probably the most reliable. The Rocket is unsurprisingly the most expensive of the bunch, currently priced 25 to 30 percent more than the others, but it is plumbable and it has that desirable rotary pump. So, which is right for you? Well, if you're in a situation where counter space is valuable, there's not many options better in a heat exchange machine with PID than the Bezerra. If solid build, long-term reliability, and value are your thing, go with the Profitech. If you want a plumbed heat exchange machine with rotary pump and that rocket flare, the Evoluzione Argioto is the machine for you. All of these machines and more are available now from Whole Latte Love. If you want more detailed information on them, use the links up here for that, including videos with more specifics. And if you have any questions on these machines or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I do hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.